if you have collections, then People and Pets is under collections. If you don't have collections, then it's under search. So People and Pets. And isn't this fun? It not only recognizes people's faces and groups them together, but it will recognize pets as well. So this was our dog, Odie. And if I ever wanted to just view all my photos of our dog, Odie, it's all done for me. I don't have to search and make an album, etc. It's all there. But what if I want to add, there's a photo that I think belongs in the Odie group that isn't in here. There is, you know, this is an automatic grouping. You really can't do much with it. There is no way in here to just add. But if you have a photo you with an unidentified face, you can tell that photo that it belongs in the Odie group. Let me show you. So I have, uh, let me search for dogs. And it's this dog. Now that obviously is not Odie, unless he got a bleach, <laughs> his hair bleached. <laughs> but let's say I think this belongs in the Odie face group. What you do, you swipe up until you see where it says people. Now there are no people in this, but this is a pet, so same thing. And edit faces, it says there's one face available to add. Edit faces. And I'll say, okay, that face should go in with Odie. And done. Now, if I go back to collections, people and pets, and Odie, there is the dog I just added to Odie's. Translate this to, to people. If you have a I have a great picture of Jim that isn't showing up in Jim's grouping. Then I go to that picture, swipe up, edit faces, tell it, put that face into Jim's grouping.